You guys only have two more days to enter to win this truck. Let's get in here and start her up. So that's how your truck's gonna start. You push one button, if the key's in the truck, it'll start. Here we go. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hopefully the sunlight isn't too bad on my face, but anyways guys, we're headed up to Devin Fry's place where we're gonna be working on the budget build Chevy. Again, you guys are loving this truck, like absolutely loving it, and I'm glad because this is something different. I was kind of nervous because I'm like, I don't know, I might put a bunch of money into this truck. A bunch is in like $3,000 into the whole build, and then people might not even like the build, you know? So just kind of, uh, kind of went out off kind of went outside of my comfort zone a little bit but you guys seem to be loving it which I really really appreciate by the way so anyways guys we are on our way up there with the wheels and tires in the back of the truck and not only that but we're gonna be picking up some parts from Napa the truck needed a new upper set and lower set of control arms however the lower control arms don't really exist anymore for those trucks so you pretty much just have to replace the ball joints and the bushings so that's what napa has been working on today Devin was kind enough to take that stuff in um, in terms of the lowers and get them dropped off so that could get done uh, i've been working on the 12 valve today a bunch and then we're headed up here and it's about 6 30 so it's been a really full day it's going to be a long night but anyways hopefully you guys enjoy the video stay tuned by the way last two days to enter to win this limited every five dollars you spend on our gear is two automatic entries to win information is in the description or go to lnpgear.com get yourself entered today this truck could be yours Yet again. Hello. So, do you dare go into detail of the complications with this truck? This truck, <laughs> let me tell you some, let me tell you a little story about this old racer that we know. What, the Blue Lightning or something? Blue Lightning, that's yeah. what we call it. This is the race ready truck that is giving you a fit in every bolt, crook, and nanny. Yeah, bolt, nook, crook, and cranny, nanny. Yeah, cranny. Something, it's just something. You get the idea. She loves the torch and some heat. Yeah. But no, um, I mean, the back's done. I had to wait on some parts, so we found ball joints and all that stuff uh, pretty pretty shot, so we don't want to ruin a new set of tires. We're putting together the steering linkage. I can show you. So this bar actually goes on to your pitment arm and your idler pulley, and it's supposed to go like this. Well, these holes are chamfered for the ball joint to go up to it and set on it tightly and couple it while these holes are backwards drilled. So... No boy, no. <laughs> that's no good. So we yeah. called the manufacturer and got that taken care of and they have a brand new one coming and it should be here. They said it'll be at your uh, doorstep in the morning. I said, okay. That'd be great if I could... Well, what do you... Oh, you're probably at work tomorrow. I, I work in the yeah, morning. Yeah, if, was, yeah. If I still have a job. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, everything else is... Getting there pretty good, new control arm upper. They didn't make a new lower control arm, so we had bushing pushed in, a new uh, ball joint pushed in. The bushings were still good on this arm. Put the bolts, I found a set of bolts I had for it from caster camber bolts. Uh, got the new brackets on, had to do a lot of cutting just to clear a lot of the old brackets to put the new brackets on to clear your front pig. And then we have to, Modify the exhaust so we can line the front drive shaft up. So yeah, so that uh, yeah, that's, there's a front drive shaft. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a little bit problem. I mean, a little. I mean, so yeah. So here's what we're thinking. This is what I said to do. <laughs> I said we just cut it here, and if we have an adapter, get an adapter that drops it down. Um, but then other than that, just flexi pipe, or do we just do flexi pipe the whole thing from here 
Just that just hangs underneath of there. I don't right. know. Yeah, I mean that's the cheaper hillbilly way, but hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, it's not like it's gonna be bad or anything. I mean, yeah. It's still an exhaust pipe. I mean, it's solid on both sides yeah. coming down here. I mean, you could swing on that thing, and, the, and on that side, it just, you need something to connect the exhaust, yeah, I guess. Exactly. But we'll figure it out. Yep. Or we could just cut both of them pipes right there. Cut Put a big chrome out. tip on there. <laughs> <laughs> just, just put a grass burner. Oh, let's just, let's just go crazy. Hater I'd pipe. Say we just, yeah. <laughs> I Both think we sides. just put two brand new pipes with the T flange and put a big turbo right here. Yeah, say, you know, <laughs> no, it didn't make us any power, but it sounds cool. Right? People had the rear mounts and then your regular turbos up top. Now nah, we have a bottom manifold turbo. So, yeah. You know. <laughs> Don't mind the water in it. So <laughs> <laughs> that wheel, it should last maybe a year. <laughs> yeah. So we're basically trying to. He finished this whole side here. Besides the steering bar that we gotta wait yeah. for that part to come in and then the sway bar, but. But in terms of the bracket, yep. the strut, the yeah, brakes, yeah. that all back together. Yeah. I mean, pretty much. I just don't, I was like, dang man, it's pretty crazy. See, look how that is. Yeah. I kinda wanna move that because, hey, that's where they say to put it. So we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna come up with something else for this brake line setup. So. Other than that, what's the next step? Uh, what do we gotta do right now? Do that side, we can throw it together, and then we can uh, put your jewels on the back if you want. Well, uh, should we? Yeah. We can, uh, I, I guess, let's do it. Let's do let's it. Do it. I haven't out. showed him the wheels on it yet. Some people pause the video over there and they're like, oh, I can see a piece of the rim sticking out, but nobody's seen the full reveal, let alone on the truck. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what they think about them once we get them on. Right. On <laughs> For a second there, I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> put it back down, put it back down. <laughs> Holy crap, dude, those are huge. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's put them on and then we'll lower this down so the back axles put on the ground. We're gonna grab the old flaps. <laughs> See, they just look big because it's in the air. Well, I think they're big. They're big. <laughs> So what are we doing right now? Just We're lowering lower it? it down just so the back end is uh, all compressed. See how it's set. When the vents is used on. They already look smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, there it is. Oh man. Check that out. So here's the wheels. They're Pro Comp Steels. That's just what they were called. Do you know what they're actually called or no? Fake beadlocks? Yeah, fake beadlocks. But they're nice. They look real good. I like it because it has that offer look with it and everything. Yeah. Um, it's a nice federal tire. I mean, federals are, they're a little bit cheaper tires, but man, they're good. That's, That's the point of the build. Exactly. $115 a rim, $125 a tire, exactly. $150 a tire. Awesome like wheel to rim combo. I mean, especially for an older truck. Yeah. It just makes it look even better with the older look. With the more boxy square truck, I said this is gonna look good. Oh yeah, it'll look real good. For the truck that it is, it's gonna look good. It's gonna sit, this is about where it's gonna sit at in high flies. Oh. Wait, go stand by the truck. Yeah, I mean, it's so they can. It's way different from <laughs> down here. <laughs> So, Before it had the tires on, it was only up to your hip yeah. with the fender. Holy crap. Yeah. It was up to here, now it's like way up. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> nice. I mean, you gotta think about it. It's six more inches of suspension yeah. and, and five more inches of tire than it had. Yep. So it's rolling ten, off this. Yeah, like 10 inches of difference of height. It looks good though. It's gonna look really good. I mean, we can. Uh, Ah, uh, we can't put, we can put that front tire on, but I gotta get this side buttoned up and throw the torsion bars in, then we gotta set, set it like that, we can have the whole thing set on the ground. Tonight? We can, yeah. Okay, right. let's do it. How much longer do you have? At this point, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're good. Okay. And if she's all done. Yeah. <laughs> we were trying. And we, uh, our plans were to get this done tonight. Went to go move, relocate the brake bracket, 
And of course the brake line, the only brake line that they didn't replace on this whole truck snapped. So we got to do that now. I mean, it's rusty and crusty. Yep. So we'll just call it a night and get a new brake line and put that brake line on and then we can start. Uh, by that time, that new bracket should be on for, for steering. We should have that and then um, throw it all together. Then we will be done. So when we come back, the hopes are new steering bracket, new brake line, button up, call it a day. Yep. Yeah. Exhaust modifications, yes. Yep. Yeah. It sucks, but in reality, it I have happens. to come back anyways too. In this kind of stuff, he's been fighting the entire time. See all that? That's all. That whole pile was the rust of this sweet gym. <laughs> Just vibrating off every time he's an impact. It took me two hours to get one torsion bar up because it was seized in the control arm. And yeah, it was fun. A lot of fun. But it is going to be huge. It's going to be pretty big. It's going to set really good. And I think those wheels and tires are going to set it off. I think it was a perfect look. Yeah. If I must toot my own horn. Yeah. <laughs> for the budget that we went with, I think it was a pretty good look for the budget. So but um, if anybody is to look at doing budgets, yeah, you just got to put back in your mind how far you really want to go into, you know, like ball joints and stuff like that. While you're there, you might as well do it because down the road. Especially if you're putting giant wheels and tires on it. Exactly. Yeah. Because it'll, it'll start eating up the tires and all that too. So, but it yep. happens. So in terms of like the budget for this it went up probably 500 bucks yeah just, so just keep that in the back of your mind that's what remember i worked yeah. at the truck shop i always told people to keep 500 to a thousand bucks in the back of their mind in case i find ball joints and stuff like that uh bad or cb shafts or any stuff like that but i mean it's it's your typical wear and tear yeah. especially on something this old but who knows if it's ever been done <laughs> 20 years so that's where we're gonna have to wrap it up today hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of the progress i know Devin enjoyed doing it right oh i totally did. <laughs> so we gotta go pick up a couple parts so that we can wrap this up hopefully this week yet but no promises we'll see what happens but it's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the truck but let me know down in the comment section below one to ten how do you guys think this is gonna look with the wheels and tires that I picked out. Again, let's do another little close-up look so you guys can see what we're looking at here. They're just some Pro Comp. All it said on the label is Pro Comp Steel. I don't know exactly what model it is. Is that bad, Devin, that I don't know what model wheel I bought? No. No. It was cheap. This is Pro Comp. And uh, I'm not saying everything Pro Comp makes is cheap, necessarily. No. But <laughs> just this particular setup with a 16 by 10 and then uh, Federals, because the Federals are on the cheaper side, and the reason, again, I went with the cheaper stuff is because that was the whole concept of the truck. Cheaper truck, cheaper parts, in terms of like wheels and tires and stuff like that. I wouldn't necessarily call the Zone kit a cheap kit. It's the more budget-friendly series, but I wouldn't say it's like super cheap quality, would you? No, uh, their quality's very good. It's been around for years, awesome, you know. I mean, it started off as a, like guys in the garage and it's huge now. Yeah. You know, like they're, they have awesome welders that work there. Uh, they have a lot of good CAD guys and everything too. They build a lot of good quality stuff. So we're gonna have to finish this another day, but let me know guys, what do you think of the setup and just look how big this thing is. It's gonna stick out pretty good. I think it's gonna look really really beefy when it's done. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for dealing with this rusty piece of crap oh, one yeah. more day. Anytime. I'll bring you another one. You're right. <laughs> Hopefully not that crusty. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, last two days to enter to win the 2019 Ram 3500 Limited. You should probably do that. Yeah. And uh, anyways, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.